The new banners are here. Now, are they good? Or are they just straight up just, you know, a little bit of a gap between this banner and the next one? Let's find out. So if we go into our notices here, we go to the events tab, we can see the banners are so. We can see that Navia, of course, we already knew this, is going to be making a rerun alongside Nilu. And both of these characters are exceptional in their own way. Is the banner itself worth summoning on? Let's talk about that real quick. Want to mention the five star characters first, Navia. Navia is one of the better geo characters if i had to be honest she's really strong really powerful and her shotgun bullet geo crystallization type situation is actually really fun to play with and i sort of really want to get this character but at the same time i have to stay strong and uh, try to summon the new Natlan characters but for now i don't think i'm going to be getting navia just yet maybe on her next rerun but we've got kibara on this one we've got kave I want to talk about that in a bit. And we've got Ning Wang. Kirara is going to be, ha you know, she has her own event. And with her own event, she's going to be free to be collected. So you don't really have to summon on this banner to get Kirara, which is pretty interesting. And I guess it sort of makes sense because she's also getting her own skin. So for those who get her skin, also can get the character for free as well. Makes sense to me. But if you guys want some constellations on Kira, this is your best bet. We haven't seen her in, you know, the few past few banners in a while. So this is your chance to get the constellations anyway. And we've got Kave. Kave has been one of the most frequently asked for characters that I've seen in a really long time. People say that they've forgotten about this character because I think he released only one time in the really far past i don't remember in which banner he was released but a really long time ago but here he is back in the flesh and we've also got ningguang um ningguang we've seen in multiple 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 banners so i don't think we need to cover ningguang to that degree but she is a great geo character and will be a great geo support for your navia if you are planning to do a little bit of a combo right there now, for Nilu, um, I could talk about Nilu as well. She's going to have her own skin, as we've seen, and she's going to have her own like new character arc or whatever, according to the Genshin Impact livestream. So that is pretty cool as well. But in terms of the actual just playability of these characters, I think it's a pretty good way to have Kave be your main character in there, and then have Nilu allow you to get that sub DPS with the Bloom support. And she does a lot of damage with Bloom. She does an incredible amount of damage with Bloom. And I sort of wish I had her on this account, but I do have her on another account, which uh, I should probably, you know, focus more on. But you know what? It's fine. And yeah, she's actually a pretty good character. She's strong. But in the current, you know, output of things, doing Hyper Blooms does a little bit more damage than just doing straight up Bloom, which is, you know, makes sense. But Nilu does buff Bloom a lot, which is really, really nice. And you have Kirara, which can be your shielder as well at the same team. So you're going to have a blast with that. And then we're going to have the weapon banner. Now this weapon banner, I have a lot of thoughts on. First thought is the five star weapon being the Claymore, which you know, is actually a pretty good one. And looks one of the most unique as well. And it has a pretty good just main stat. It does a lot of damage, uh, I have to say that, because it also has a pretty good subside as well. But the key of Kajunisut is actually pretty niche. Not a lot of characters can use that. So uh, I don't know if I would exactly stay with this other than the fact that if I want to, you know, really buff up Nilu or another character that needs HP. So yeah, there, there's that. And then there is the four star or there are the four stars. Four stars are not looking too good. The only one that I can see that is, you know, pretty incredible actually is Zephos Moonlight. I don't think I've seen this sword in a in a while. And this sword is actually pretty good for a number of characters. Mainly in my head, I think of Kaza that could actually potentially use this to its full degree. And uh Ki Kuki. Yeah, Kuki. <laughs> Cookie. <laughs> okay. 
those are the characters that I can think about that could actually make use of, uh, yeah, the Z Fox Moon Knight to its full degree. So is this weapon banner good? I don't think so. But if you do manage to snipe the verdict or snipe the Z Fox Moon Knight, you're, you're in a hell of a ride because those two weapons are pretty decent, especially the Z Fox. Especially that. Especially if you get some constantly or some refinement on that. Wee! You'll be in good shape. I'll show you guys in a sec for the Z Force Moonlight. But Navia, I want to talk about more just a little bit. She does not have a place at the moment because of the current abyss. It's kind of really difficult, but I'm sure it's going to be changed in favor of Navia once it is out. So you guys won't have a problem with that and the Imaginarium uh, Theater as well. So yeah, all these characters are good in their own way and they have their viability. Uh, Kirara is actually a pretty good shielder, which is really nice. And Kaveh does some damage. He's a damage dealer. And yeah, so I want to talk about this little weapon right here. Now, I don't have it on Kazla just yet because I have it on Kuki. Uh, it has a base attack of 510 and elemental mastery of 165. And with more refinement you get, the better this weapon is. But if you do have more than one of this weapon, I highly recommend that you don't refinement until you have a bunch for your different characters already. I made that mistake and I now have a refinement rank 2. When I could, I could have just kept one more weapon, but luckily I did get lucky to get one more, and now I could equip this on you know Kaza once I get this to level 90 or whatever. This is an excellent weapon, and I highly suggest that you guys, you know, I don't want to say try and get it because the weapon banner itself is not really good, but if you do manage to get it, definitely, definitely use it because Uki can really use this weapon and so can Kaza. The reason being is that the, the you know the substat that it gives is energy recharge for each point of elemental mastery. As you guys know, animal characters use a lot of elemental mastery. So, you know, you have a good time with that. And the reason I say it's good with Kuki, because elemental mastery and you kind of want to do a bunch more hyper loom damage, and that's pretty much the only reason why. And you don't really need energy recharge on Kuki, but the element of mastery and the base attack itself is just really nice. And it's, it's nice to have the energy recharge. It's not the greatest on Kuki, but it's okay, right? And if you want, it's it, the, the iron staying is just as good and can deal damage. So just use that on Kuki instead. <laughs> that is what I want to say. But it, at the end of the day, it's really good on Kaza. And yeah, that's that's how I see it. That's how I see it. But yeah, that is all I wanted to talk about. So hopefully you guys got something out of this. If you did, let me know in the comment section down below. Are you guys going to be summoning on this banner? If not, let me know as well.